In this video, I will answer a question from a recent webinar called Random Intercept and Random Slope Models. We're answering questions here because we had over 500 people live on the webinar, so we didn't have time to get through all the questions. If you miss the webinar live, this and the other questions in this video series may make more sense if you watch the webinar recording first. It's part of our free webinar series, The Craft of Statistical Analysis, and you can sign up to get the free recording handout and even the data that we ran in the example at this link listed below. Octair asks, can you repeat what the different covariance terms mean? For example, 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 1. And will they tell if the random slope is important or not to account for? Sure. Okay, to answer this, we are once again going to look at some output. Okay, th this is the output that Octair is referring to right over here. So it's these numbers. So these unstructured 1, 1, when we fit random effects, un stands for unstructured, and the 1, 1, for example, refers to the first row in the first column of what is called the G matrix. The G matrix is the variance covariance matrix of the random effects. So the first is, let's say, tau squared. That's a variance estimate of our intercept. And tau squared 1 is the variance estimate of our slope. So here, the 1295 is tau not squared, and the 66.9 is the tau 1 squared. Now we can also fit a tau 0, 1, which is the covariance between the slope and the intercept. That's the 261.7, and you can see that's in row 2, column 1. So it really just gets, you have to get used to how these are displayed, but 1, 1 refers to the intercept variance, and 2, 2 refers to the slope variance. Now, how do we use these numbers to tell if we need that random slope? Well, essentially, if this comes out to 0, we don't need it. And that's pretty much how you decide. So you can see here, this is quite a bit above zero. It's smaller than the intercept variance, but it's still worth keeping in there. So if that variance exists as a non-zero number, we need to keep it in there. So you do have to be careful. Sometimes it won't come out as zero exactly. It'll be, you know, 0 0.0004, for example. If it were that small, I would remove it compared to an intercept of 1295.